High school girls, high school girls, all for me. High school girls. <laughs> the the round, the the, the ovals and the circles for the boobs. Oh my god! And the guys and the and the legs and oh my everything. Oh Ah, just, uh, just the curves. Now I don't mean to get curvy. I just mean curves oh, are so beautiful. Like I'm not even talking about a woman anymore. I'm talking about like on cars, you know, like on oh, furniture, in nature. It's all beautiful. Like men are rugged. Like that's like steel, you know, rocks, granite, stuff like that. Like solid materials. But when you draw women, when I draw, when I draw female, it's like you're painting nature. You're painting. Or drawing, you know, whatever. Nature. Uh, like the sky, you're drawing clouds, you're drawing grass, you're drawing leaves and plants and things like that, but it's in a shape of, like, I don't, uh, am I making sense? Like, I know it's kind of abstract what I'm explaining, but, like, that's why I like drawing women, is not, well, I will admit, oh, yeah. the sexual ah, qualities of course, come are on. very attractive, and it's very interesting to draw that type of stuff, but... Yeah. It's beauty. It's like art. It's so beautiful because it's so curvy. And their hair, the way it flows down and you draw the hair, it's like you're drawing waterfalls. Like you're drawing, yeah, waterfall. Water yeah. and rivers and everything. And then when you get to their... I'm just... I'm done. <laughs> Stop there. <laughs> I, said, I said my piece. Not enough. <laughs> beauty of art. I'm sure that some people out there can relate. Now what's uh, happening? I'm sure we know. I was know. hoping somebody was watching. <laughs> oh Damn it. nobody was watching. Dude, it's, it's a demon. Whoa. What? Okay, let's listen. Of course, the traveler was pulled. First he let the goblin oh. one of his legs, then an arm, then more and more. And more. Before it was over, all the traveler had left was his head. He'd even given his eyes away to the last of the goblins. And as that last goblin was eating the traveler's eyes, <gasps> he turned and said, Thank you, traveler. In return, I leave you this present. What the goblin left was a slip of paper with the word fool written on it. The traveler couldn't see it. He didn't know what it was. Even so, tears began to flood out his face. Thank you, he said. This is the first present anyone's ever given me. I'm so happy. Then, the traveler what? died. Of course, only after his head got cut off. What the fuck? That was the most fucked up story <laughs> I've heard in a long time. And that? The end oh, of the story. gosh. I feel so uh, sorry for him. I feel so what? See? Why is she like sleeping? She isn't this um Luigi, whatever her name yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> we Luigi or something. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Traveler didn't. He never thought about his own troubles. That's not even like I imagine that it probably does sound foolish <sighs> The voice to some people, isn't even trying to, to be male. I don't think he's foolish at all. I think he did exactly what he wanted to. He do. sold his body to a goblin. I think How is that good? <laughs> He just wanted to make a- He wanted to make a goblin was, happy! Hey, okay, the, the goblin- was Satan! The goblin, was, it wasn't just a regular, oh, thank you, kind of happy. It was like, a rough, ha, ah, give me your- Give yeah. me your ass, you kind of- What? <laughs> you foolish okay. shit. Yeah, he has his body. <laughs> Fool, <now>. give <laughs> me a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good night? Hot spring. I'm going Whoa, what? I didn't make anything or get you anything I did. <laughs> so instead, I'll put up with that damn Yuki and I'll go to the hot spring oh. with you. Maybe you don't carry it away. She must have been whether I go or not, but... She wanted him to go. Oh. What's gonna Wind. happen? She's gonna be right Wind. in his face. Oh! Oh! I knew it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going to the springs with Yuki. Thank you so much. And now Kyo's going. So, so it's like a date. So she's like, she's like, she's dating both of them. He's realizing, but... He is so into her right now. Or ever. Yes! I do not! <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> we've said He's that. He's got the uh -huh. <laughs> God, that crying noise is so stupid. Where? <laughs> Yuki's not happy about this. Look, he's gonna get sad. See? I suppose I'll survive. You can't relax with Yuki and Ko to kill together. Yeah, absolutely not. He just fucked up the whole vacation! Dude, Yuki and Toru were gonna fuck. <laughs> and then Kyo came along, and now that's all done and now away he's with. gonna get a piece of it. Maybe. 
Well, I didn't pay much, uh, much attention to this episode, oh, we, so I can't really I was, dude, no, talking about this, this episode, <laughs> this episode was so much better because <laughs> we didn't hear half of it. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah, wait, because wait, okay. we didn't listen and pay attention to <laughs> the you, show. Do you notice that? That, every, yeah. that on the shows that we, like, don't pay attention to anything in the show, we're yeah. like, oh, that show was mm, 10 out of 10 IGN. And then uh-huh. the shows we actually pay attention to, they're shit. 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 They're bad. <laughs> I guess that tells you something about the anime. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, give your analysis and your rating. Um, Por favor. Uh, I liked. I wasn't paying attention, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a uh, three out of ten. Wow! Oh, wow that's that's a, really good. That's, good for James. <laughs> that's amazing because I wasn't listening. <laughs> Uh, oh, Ooh. wow, okay, I'll Ooh. give my rating. Dude, don't- Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Well, now. Oh, do this next- Whoa. 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 Oh, like a- Whoa. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Yes. 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 Oh. yes! 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 Wait! They're gonna hook up. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for this next episode, oh my goodness. I can wait. So ready? I can't give a shit. Dude, why does she have a towel on? Take it off. You don't need it in a hot towel. <laughs> you don't need none of that. Uh, oh, dude, okay, my rating. Okay. Well, from what you've seen. From what you saw. I really enjoyed that creepy story about the goblin. I gotta tell that story at some point. Like, yeah. I, I mean, it's not like it's copyrighted. It's just a wise tale or whatever, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I gotta write that into a story that I write sometime. Maybe one of my uh, Mocha Fantasy um, Let's now, Draws, maybe. Let's draws, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe one of those draw that, because that was... Uh, that story, that story alone, like I'm rating the whole show based off that alone. Oh, okay. Wow. Because okay. okay. that's that's all I watched. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. other than that, the show, I I don't know. I didn't watch enough of it. Me neither. I didn't. I, I would glance at it, but I'm not like I kind of zoned out. All I know, all I know now is that they're going in the hot springs together, and Yuki was going with Toru, and they were gonna go all together, but Kyo didn't want to go. And Toru and, and Yuki wanted to go together, so they went. Um, I don't think the whole crew is going. I think it's just them. And for some reason, Toru insists on having Kyo and Yuki there together. I know, like that she, is so stupid. Like, I hate that. Does she even like them? Because if she no, liked, she if does. she liked one of them, why wouldn't it? Like, does she, she likes just them do it both? One? Two why can't penis just have one? is better than one. <laughs> David would know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I know all about that. <laughs> I know what you did. Uh, no, I just think it's stupid because I mean, I, I, it's it's a it's a plot point that's meant to be in there. It's not that it would not. I don't hate it because it was written bad. I hate it because I'm supposed to hate it. And I I, don't, I really don't like that because you know I don't want to I don't want to get into this again. We've talked about this in earlier episodes, or maybe we should. I don't know. I forget. Just about. She has them both on the hook, like both on the line. Like that is so jacked up, mm-hmm. and she knows that they both like her. Yet she's not doing anything to she's distance herself. Him. Yeah, she's just fucking with them. And if this was real life, she'd be really fucking with them, literally. Yeah, <laughs> women should not do that. And this is what I mentioned the other episode that I don't need to go completely into it too. But like, like I said, I'm an egalitarian, so I don't believe that women are stupid enough to think that that's okay. And mm-hmm. I don't think they're stupid to not know when that's happening in real life. And that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. And I feel that if that if that's going on, the girl knows it's happening and she's doing it on purpose. Mm-hmm. And that's what upsets me. Not, not every not every woman out there, and men, guys do it too. And when guys do it, I'm just as upset. Mm-hmm. And But in this is it's a woman <laughs> in the show. So I mean, stay relevant, of course. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I think that's stupid when that happens, and I'm really pissed off at Toru for doing that. And she should just pick one of them, because she clearly likes them, and in her head she can't decide. So she's just enjoying both while she can. Mm-hmm. And if and if it was up to her, I'm sure, if this was a rated R anime, they would both be having sex. They would be having sex with, with Toru and both Kyo. Or Toru yeah. would be having sex <laughs> with them both. And then, and then Kyo and Toru would just tear each other apart. Mm-hmm. And they would lose their brotherhood, and, and they would fall apart. And it's just a terrible thing. Yeah. I just, Toru just needs to go away. Yeah. Just needs to go away and leave them alone. Mm-hmm. Leave them to themselves. Let them, let them, let Kyo enjoy Kagura, whatever her name is. With all that said, for the story alone, for that really cool goblin story, I give it a 6 out of 10. 
Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to rate it based on the Goblin story too, because that's pretty much all I saw as well. Uh, the Goblin story, I actually have to admit, I'm not as into it as you are. Um, I didn't really get the point. Like, he that's gave really everything nice. away, and then... The point they gave was completely retarded. I, I took my own lessons from it. Oh! Mm. Well, if you'd like. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know if I can articulate it right, but, like, I just thought that was, it was so creepy at best. And, like, the lesson... Let me go analyze through it, and then maybe I'll come up with the lesson. Is that <clears throat> The goblin... I heard, I missed the first part of the story, well, yeah. but I can assume what it was. The goblin... He met with the goblin. The goblin was like, hey... If you if you give me whatever pieces like if you give me something of yours or give me whatever I will give you the most the greatest gift you could ever imagine, and he was like yeah give me your arm or whatever your uh, hand and the kid was like all right lop and he gives him gives him that and then he, and then somehow the goblin keeps saying like oh I'll give you like I'll give you something even better if you give me this, and so basically that's what he was doing he was convincing the kid to continue with lop off his he gave his arm his leg his other arm other leg and he and he gave his body and he ended up giving everything and he finally ended up giving his eyes to get this super cool gift or whatever <laughs> and his eyes were gone and so. The goblin was like, okay, here you go, and on the on the paper, he just wrote fool, and yeah. he laid it there, and, and the goblin left and took all his body and everything. Man. But the kid couldn't even know, didn't even know that it wasn't even a great gift, he because it. he had no eyes. Yeah. But he thought it was, because the goblin said it was, and so my take from it is that, don't be gullible. Like, that kid was so gullible, he was like, yeah, clearly this, this is a gift, like, this gift is amazing, but, like, little do you know, it, it's shit. It's complete shit. So mm. it's like, maybe this, this goes to the character of me, but I learned... It, I mean, it's a goblin for crying out loud. Never trust goblins. <laughs> but to me, it was like if someone offers you something and says that it's amazing, why would they be giving it up? Why would you want to trust them? If you don't know them, don't trust them, you know? And like, it, I don't know. Maybe that sounds very bleak and whatever. But like, they said it was that he wanted to see someone else happy. But then why would he be so happy about receiving a gift, you know? I don't know. The whole receiving a gift part was yeah. just weird to me. And it's just like, he just got duped. He was a fool. It was just dark. dark. And yeah. it's like, the kid was left with nothing. He was a fool. Mm. So don't be stupid. Yeah. I guess <laughs> I'll give it a one. That's kind of low for you, actually. Wow. Why was this worse than the last episode? Well, I'm... <laughs> I guess because I didn't see any of it, <laughs> so it is like nothing to really like. It was not nothing to dislike either, so I can't really. I just give it a one. Just feel like giving it a one. Okay. Didn't care enough to go any higher. All right. Well, there's all the ratings. If you enjoyed this episode with us today, we enjoyed your presence. Thanks for hanging out with us through this episode of the anime. Don't forget to subscribe because it's very important that you do if you enjoy the content because we actually are going to be purchasing a new professional mic, mm. but we're waiting to reach 100 subscribers. We are a new channel. Um, you can subscribe to this one or you can subscribe to Mocha Fantasy, the original channel, just straight up Mocha Fantasy. It's got gameplay on it and it's got psycho psychology stories, kind of like creepypastas on them. Once we reach 100 subscribers between this channel and that one or either one, uh, we will... Purchase a new professional mic so that way you can hear us better and, and it'll be better quality for everybody. We just want to put the channel through the rings, through the ringer, and see if it's if it's worth sustaining, if it's worth um, investing in. Don't forget to like all the Facebooks, Instagram, mm. Minds.com. Sometimes you'll get content a month in advance. Mm. And I wish I could sound more enthusiastic than that. <laughs> <laughs> but most likely, most everybody's already gone. Yeah, and everybody already clicked out of the oh, window. Oh yeah, already yeah, they're not here anymore. Well, we're just by ourselves, so yeah. Well, peace out, dude.